delegation is learning in Lichipping, Sweden. Well, tonight I am joined live via Skype with Linnea Bankston, the international business developer for the city of Lidshipping. She's been leading the Rockford delegation on the trip to her hometown. Linnea, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you, Kimberly. So tell us a little bit about um, IBED just wrapped up uh, today. Talk a little bit about what, what all was done in this past couple of days uh, in Lidshipping. Yes, we started the conference on Tuesday, and it was a full day of great speakers from various countries in the world. And we got to learn about and got educated about bioenergy in the United States, uh, in Sweden, and then Europe as well. Uh, companies were there to uh, produce, uh, promote their products. We got to learn about opportunities and barriers for export and import of renewable energy technology. Now, you've kind of been leading the way in developing um, partnerships between uh, Sweden and the city of Rockford. Tell me, do you think that those partnerships have uh, taken a step forward during this trip to, uh, to Sweden? Absolutely. That's a great difference in reaching a new level of partnership, especially today. We had a big, uh, long meeting this morning, three hours, where we had people from the conference together with people from Rockford City in a three-hour meeting talking about, specifically talking about, companies that we see potential to work together. Excellent. And what about, I understand that there was a bit of field trips yesterday uh, to different places around lid shipping, kind of focusing on green technologies. What all did you do? Yes, we get to see a lot of different um, heating stations, uh, small scale and large scale for district heating. We went to a school that heat their city. Um, their school with district heating, we get to see the lid shipping center heat plant. We also get to see a uh, lip-shipping biogas facility, which produces um, food uh, biogas. And uh, we also get to see a water um, reservation district. What was some of the feedback? What does the Rockford delegation think of what they learned, and what do you think is going to be brought back with them to Rockford? I think that it was a very knowledgeable trip for them. I can tell from the question that was addressed from them that they were definitely... Um, interesting to continue with this partnership and they also were very, they got very educated when they were here and they added a lot to us in terms of the American um, perspective and what for us from, from Sweden to think about when we're trying to partner with American companies. You know, and I guess this should have been one of my first questions, but I forgot to ask for the people at home that don't know, who has made up the Rockford delegation? You mean the name? Y yes, who, who all along is, has went along for this trip? Yes, uh, the Rockford delegation uh, consisted of Smurls from Winnebago County, Dr. Bob Vogel and Dr. Sonia Vogel from Freedom Field, uh, Marco Demski from the Rockford Area Economic Development Council, and uh, Chester Colodice from Freedom Field, as well as his wife, Sandra, who's a retired teacher. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm definitely interested in hearing all about what the delegation thought, and I'm sure we'll check in with you and members of the delegation when you land back here in the United States. Linnea, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, Kimberly.